First of all, if somebody commits a sexual assault, the only person to blame is the person who commits the sexual assault, right? That right off the bat. I also think that if you put yourself in a risky situation, then you've put yourself in a risky situation, mm -hmm. right? We do this every day, right? Every day we make decisions about what sort of situations to put ourselves in. If I walk through a high crime neighborhood waving $100 bills above my head and then I am robbed, yeah. then it is the fault of the person who robs me. It is not my fault, mm -hmm. but I also made a bad decision to do that. Yes. Okay, so two things can be true at once. And it is not blaming the victim to say that it's a bad decision to walk through a high crime neighborhood at night waving your wallet over your head. Yeah. Right? It is, it is also not a good idea to go to parties where drinking and drugs are commonplace mm -hmm. with a bunch of guys who are pigs. Yes. Right? That's just not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Now, does that relieve responsibility from the guys? 100% not. If a guy rapes you or sexually assaults you, he should be castrated or killed. Question, uh, and um, one of the things that I hate so much about this conversation is that people assume two things can't be true at once. That if I think that rape is bad...